Hello, welcome back to the channel and uh, it's another will it work question. Today's product is Armor All Protectant Semi Matte Finish. They do do this in a gloss as well. Uh, but I prefer the matte look. Um, so this is for rubber and plastic and vinyl. Cleans and protects. Um, dashboards and trims, stuff like that. Guards against fading, discoloration, renews and restores surface appearance, slows the aging process. So, yeah, you can use it inside the car, outside the car. It'll do tyre sidewalls apparently as well, bumpers, uh, vinyl convertible hoods, door mouldings and more. So the instructions, number one, shake well. Number two, apply liberally to a clean cloth and spread evenly or spread directly uh, or spray directly onto the surface. Wipe off excess. Apply as needed to maintain surface appearance and protection. Um, so what we're testing it on is this Ford Fiesta Courier, which has been sat here for about a year. Been off the road for about 18 months. I think the bushes in the rear axle have collapsed. Uh, so we're going to be doing no mileage in it, it's just going to be purely a sort of how long, time wise, this stuff will last. Uh, I'm going to do 50-50 on like the side trims, I'll do a 50-50 on the tyres, uh, and I'll do a 50-50 on the steering wheel I think as well. Uh, so let's get started. Right, so this is going to be a test for it because I haven't washed this since I've owned it, which will be coming up two years, I would think. So, just got some masking tape, I'm just going to mask off. Obviously, uh, half of this doesn't matter where, round about there. Normally, you know, if I'm cleaning a car that I'm going to sell, I would wash it first and then apply whatever uh, trim dressing I'm using. But obviously this one says it will clean, so we'll, uh, we'll put that to the test as well. So, we're going to spray a bit onto the cloth and a bit onto the plastic and we'll just, uh, yeah, work it in. Obviously, you know, they all turn this sort of darkish colour once they've, uh, when they've first been put on. But it's then the, uh, the period of time after that that is most important, really, you know, how long it lasts, you know, how quickly it fades. So there's that. 50-50. And we'll just uh, we'll come back sort of week by week and just monitor how uh, how well it's lasting. Right, let's move on to a tyre. Right, I'm not sure on the best sort of way to apply this to the tyre. I would think perhaps a brush, stiffish brush, maybe. But we're going to carry on with this cloth. So I'll uh, sort of coat it quite heavily, a bit on the cloth as well, and then we'll just sort of work it in. Now I haven't yet found sort of a long lasting tyre treatment that's easy to apply. Obviously, Maguire's, the purple gel one's the one I, you know, I go to for for a good long lasting shine but it's it's not really that quick to apply so if this lasts its time and then uh, obviously you've just seen how easy that was to apply it might be my new tyre dressing fingers crossed but there we go so that's that So there's the 50-50, you can see, again, be interesting to see how long it lasts, and a bit, bit of overspray there, but 
we're not worried about that. Okay, now let's move on to the steering wheel. <clears throat> right, so again, 50-50 ish. difference there's going to be with that let's see yeah not much well, well, there's a bit maybe there's a bit right so if you come in and have a have a look you can sort of see not actually as clear on this it was pretty shiny as it was to be honest so I think this will probably fade the quickest so this is how it looks 24 hours later as it should to be honest if it's not even lasting 24 hours it's not even worth the fiver that I paid for it and the tire can't really tell at the bottom because because of this overspray obviously that's where the masking tape was we'll keep it at the top right so another update on the tyre I don't know how long it's been on now 10 days perhaps I did come and try and check the other day but it rained that heavy you couldn't really see but you can see a clear line there so it's still still got some uh, protection on there and if we move and look at this sort of rubbing strip you can see there it's been protected there has been untreated so still going strong right we're on 23 days now and you can still see this half of the trim is a lot darker deeper in color than the untreated half so that's pretty good going to be honest and um, let's have a look at the tire now now there's still a faint line there on this half, um, but to the eye, the camera's actually picking up better, picking it up better than, than my eyes do. Um, probably because rubber is more porous than the plastic on the on the side of the, of the van. I'll just show you the steering wheel. That sort of faded after the first couple of days, so it wasn't even worth showing right this is the steering wheel and to be honest maybe you can see it a bit this side is sort of less glossy obviously I don't know what was on the surface of this it was quite shiny before I I applied it so you can actually see it's more matte on this side which obviously it was a semi matte finish on that um, that protectant so perhaps it is doing something but it's less noticeable. Right, so this is 30 days now, and we can still see a noticeable difference between the untreated and the treated side. There's a definite line there. Uh, I mean, it's probably faded since first application, but 30 days, it's pretty decent, considering I didn't even clean it. I used just used the product to clean it as well as treat it. So let's have a look at the tyre now. And there is still a line here on the tyre, which this side has obviously had the product applied to it. That side hasn't. Still a sort of a 
deeper deep black finish on the tyre so that's good as well so that's armour all protectant semi matte finish and to answer the question yes it will work quite well actually considering it's about four quid or five quid either way very inexpensive thanks for watching this episode we'll see you next time cheers bye like share subscribe the car lovers channel